Hello guys, welcome back to the Effects Guy channel for another interesting tutorial. And if you're new here, consider subscribing such that you don't miss any of the interesting coming effects. Alright, so today we're doing this. Alright guys, to create this effect, we're simply going to be using this truck and the uh, optical flare light. Yeah. Alright, so first we create a new composition and I'm gonna name it Struck for the sake of this tutorial, make it 9, 20, 10, 80 with 30 frames per second and I'll make it at least 30 seconds. Alright, so next uh, you create a new solid. For your background, call it BG. You put the things constant and you insert new text. Alright, so I type in guy. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Although I will change my font, I use Space Ranger. Yeah, if you want this one, you get it down in the description below. Pretty nice, looks cool. kind of sense sci fi and like that. Alright, so now we have a lot of text over here. So, what you do, you click on it and go to layer auto choice. You leave this settings the same and click OK. Alright, so what the computer does, it yeah, uh, okay, it, it traces out all these letters and creates its own, its own, it creates its own shapes out of this text. Alright, so after it's done cutting itself out, you go to the effects and presets. Yeah, wait for them to come in. Alright, so you type in stroke. Uh, you type in stroke. Uh, and there you go, you have this, you drag it on the auto dress layer. Alright, so you get this other text, you uncheck it and you come back here. You make this reveal on. You make this reveal over original image. Yeah. Alright, so you take this out. And you have to increase the brush size to a little bit of a bigger size. Alright, so you move the keyframes to about this. You set the end keyframe, you come back to the start and move it to 100. Alright, then here's the like all frames. Alright, so. What we're gonna be having it is oh no, that's going off. What we can do is this. I'll show you something. Select all frames, come back here, and now select the end. We'll be a couple of frames and get it to 100. Right, so let's play this one more time. Wow, pretty cool, right? Alright, so we have something like that. Although it's going pretty too fast, we can uh, decrease the size by moving the keyframes a little bit forward. Do it three to thirty frames there. Alright, let's see. Yeah, pretty nice. Not too fast, not too slow. Alright, so we have that done with. And our next step, we shall put in the optical. Layer. Create a new solid and uh, a white say Yeah, I'll name it optical layer. All right. So you get this. You go to Effect Video Compiler. Yeah, and if you want this plugin, you can get it their website, the Video Compiler here. Yeah. It's a couple of bucks, you can still get it. Alright, so you go to options, you come here, you remove all of this. Yeah. So you want to create your own new thing, kind of good looking. 
right so you get this you put in the glow and then the strike yeah all right so you get the strike and you decrease it down you decrease the glow as well to get this nice little glow out of the strike all right so I have something like that don't make it a little bit don't make it a glowish it will reflect to the surface and it will look like all right so we have something like that and what you can do is change here the light you can make it any color i'll make it red looks pretty nice there not too glowy yeah that's nice all right so we have something like that so what you do you get uh you get to the you get here and you get your objects back all right so we have this then you come create a new null object yeah all right so we'll take this back put a couple of frames where it started like this and then what you can do you're gonna come here i'll show you you're gonna come here and go to the masks, these, each of them. So you get the first mask, alright? And you go to the you go to the mask path and what you do is say control C and you copy those frames, you go here to the null and uh, on null you you press P for position, you click on P and control C. Alright, so what you did you copy the path of these letters to the null object. You can see that. You see that? Such that it moves with it. Or though it's kinda having a little bit of an offset. What you do you have to remove this frame. You hold the first one and you move it like over there. Make sure it's in line like there all right so you see that it's moving a bit from the start till the end well pretty cool all right so what you do you get this this light the optical flare and you link it to the knot Pretty cool, right? See how it's moving with it? Yeah, looks pretty nice. Alright, so when you're done with that, you gotta put some animation so the light doesn't just come up and yeah. Alright, so you put this put the brightness to zero and uh, you move a couple frames. Put it back to one hundred put it back to one hundred, sorry. Just put it back to one hundred. Like that. Such that we have this not just following on but it's, it has some transition the way it comes in all right then you gotta put a transition here at the end when it's finishing you come and uh you can the keyframe put a keyframe at the end and then put it to zero right. so when it's ending it comes in and it's yeah, I think that's nice. Anyway, it's based on what you want here. Yeah, you do it according to what you want. Alright, pretty nice, right? And you gotta do this to each of these other letters. Alright, you gotta do this for each of these other letters. So, what you do, the three letters, right? It's according to the letters you have. So what you do you get this now and no you create a new now. You create a new null object and you duplicate it such that we have three of them. Alright? So uh, you get one comes over here and we have this one. It's also over you. Alright, so we have three nulls over there. 
and then you get also duplicates of duplicated lights as well. But these are already used, so you get to create them. So get a new solid effect and uh, video compiler. Create a vertical flag on there. Remove this. Same process. Yeah. Remove this for the glow and the strike. Decrease and the glow and then the strike. Have a nice smooth thingy. Alright. So. Name it, name it up with the fire the rock. And there you go. Out. Just so you don't mistake it for anything else. Alright, so what you do, you put it over here. And. You come here, up to the auto drift. Go to these maps and get to the second map. Alright. So the second map, you come to the mask pack. You make sure you check the masks pack. If you don't, it won't work. Trust me, it won't work. So you say Ctrl C, and you come here to this and hit P to this null object. Select the position and Ctrl V. Alright, so the same thing we have this track together. Yeah, you see that? It moves together. Alright, so we have all these things keyframed together, the way they move, the time they gear. Alright. Looks pretty cool, I think. So, what we gotta do... Um, see how it moves with it, you see how it moves with it, although it's having some kind of offset. So what you have to do here, the same thing you did last time, you just have to align it with it. Yeah. Up to around there. Oops. So still not the way it should be. Bye. We can still have a way to align it. Alright, so you walk it out until it's really arranged out the way you want it. Yeah. You arrange it out and see how it finally comes out. Yeah, all right. And uh, when you're really done with this thing, you just align the thing the way they should be. Yeah. And this effect is pretty easy, just gotta give it a try. Really nice. Alright, so you do the same thing for all the other letters, and you have your effect done and good to go. Alright, this has been the effects guy. Please be sure to, to subscribe and leave a comment below. I want to know what you think about this tutorial. I want to know your mind, and yeah. See you next time.